Alrighty ho, my crafty friends. This is Lori at the Ladybug Journals. I am so glad you joined us today here at the craft room. So, I thought we would make some belly bands. And I was out working in the garden. And I was setting up one of my garden beds. And, um, this is, this is just going to sound, you know, like I'm off the wall, but... Um, as I was setting up the bed, I do um, this method of gardening called square foot gardening. And if you're a gardener, I'm sure you've heard of it where, you know, you take your gardening bed and you set it up in um, 12 inch by 12 inch squares. And that kind of tells you how many plants you can get in your bed. Well, all those squares kind of gave me an idea. Well, then my friend Sarah over at... Um, Art Venture Paints um, on Facebook, she was working with squares. And um, and then I remembered whenever I am, um, when I'm painting, I like to paint on four inch squares. Um, and if I'm doodling, I doodle um, in four inch squares in my, in my doodle journal. So I thought, okay, squares are calling to me. So Let's um, let's cut out some squares and let's see what we can do with them. So I just took a piece of, you know, those little things you get in the mail, those, um, you know, they're just really stiff pieces of, I don't know, they're shiny and, you know, they say, hey, we've, we're going to give you this free credit card and you've got $200, you know, to spend on it, you know, a bunch of malarkey. So what I thought I would do is um, I covered it with some gesso and, I put it aside to let it dry, and then I cut out some squares and different um, different papers and some different sizes. I inked them all up, and the one thing I forgot to do is round my inside corners. Let me grab my let me grab my corner rounder here. Oops, off the table behind me, and um, there it is. And I always like to have round corners on the inside. It just makes it easier, you know, when you're putting things in. There we go. So let me get this up here out of the way. And, um, you know, I've got a three-foot table that I work on sometimes. My three-foot table, uh, pretty much I'm down to about eh, eight inches. Because <laughs> everything is, everything's kind of, <laughs> um, I'm closing in on me. I'm working on two videos at once. Uh, part one and part two and this one and... Oh my gracious. All right, so I'm just inking this up and I'm gonna schmuck it up. You all have seen me schmuck things up before. And this flat side here, huh, you know what? I think I've just decided we're gonna make this a, did I say belly band? You know what, you guys? My brain is kind of, is like this. It's all schmuckered up today. Um, it's a beautiful day here today, and I was outside this morning, you know, watering plants that um, that are in the garden. I still need to go out and plant some flowers in some pots, and um, I haven't done that yet. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. So, I guess I'm rounding these corners because we're making a belly band. Okay. So the reason I'm, I'm um, I ink this or put I, I'm using oxide. It's my favorite oxide. It's it's a vintage photo, and I also have it in um, in the ink. It's just I can't get to it right now. It's on the table behind me, and um, and I'm just gonna cover this with these squares. And this is just book page, and I just. I just took my dauber and went over it, and I'm just giving them time to dry. And I'm just going to, you know, go loopity loop like this. Kind of cover them. Different. And I don't want them straight. I am do I do think I might want them rounded, maybe. I'm thinking I might want the corners. No, because then they're not squares, are they? Never mind. <laughs> Is um, is my great niece says to me sometimes, she says, "Sissy, never mind." It's like, well, okay then. Uh, 
she actually came to see me this see me and my husband this weekend with her family and uh she's three and um she's potty training and she went into the bathroom and with her grandma and she came she came running out she was all excited and she said guess what i did and i said did you go potty she said yes i did she said i love your little girl potty and I looked at my sister and I said, I don't understand what she's talking about. Well, my sister has, you know, the, the really tall pedestal um, toilets. And mine is just a normal, everyday toilet. And, but for her, it was a short one. So she called it the little girl potty. <laughs> I said, well, I'm glad, I, I'm glad you liked it. Okay, so some of the squares that I have, like I said, these are book pages. And um, I have some It's uh, handmade paper that's been dyed pink and then I've got these little polka dots and then I also have the hand hand dyed paper that's got the little gold flecks like off of um I can't think I've been trying to think what that's called and then just a piece of um just real thin cardstock that I cut just for a little bit of um you know just different so I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of these and um, I actually just thought of running glue right down the middle of this, this thing here and gluing them down. It'd probably be easier, wouldn't it? I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to... See, you can see my fingerprints. I think I'm just going to run the glue right down the middle. Just like that. That way I know they stick. And... um. And I can come back and add the glue on them like that when I'm ready to. There we go. So I hope you all have had a great day. And I hope you guys have gotten a chance to play in your in your little in your little journals that we created and you're having some fun you've made some pockets and now you're gonna make some make some belly bands I'm not a big fan of belly bands but because I can never get them um, never get them tight enough but I thought we're gonna give this one a shot here and um, I usually do circles or buttons you know things like that but for some reason, these these um these squares just called to me. Now I'm just gonna run some, just kind of right down the middle, like this, because the next one I want to do. Where is it here? I wanted to do the little pink polka dots, and I'm gonna just do the same thing. I'm not gonna make, keep anything straight. I'm just gonna sit them down in the glue, and um. You know, for the pieces that are going over the top of them, I'm just going to add some glue to them. So kind of like tumbling blocks. And if you don't like them like that, feel free to, you know, put them however you want them. And I'm just tapping them down. I just want them to be, you know, here and there and everywhere. And I think I want some of this one now. These white ones are a little, they're really thick. And I'm going to stick, I'm going to stick this one up in here. Oh, no, that's the same one, isn't it? I want to stick one of these up underneath here. Like that. I don't really want them to have a pattern. So I'm just kind of, I kind of started them and now I'm just going to start tucking them. Yep, that one won't fit. Won't fit there. Here, we can tuck him in here. Let's see where we can tuck this one. Yeah, I just kind of want them tucked in different places. You know, just to look like they're just falling all over the place. There we 
we go. So maybe let's add some of this one down here before we put the pink on there. You know, you guys kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. Just adding, just adding them as I add them. Nothing, nothing, no order, no. All right, I want something up here. Where's that shiny one with the shiny stuff? You know, think of these as buttons. You know, when you put buttons down, they don't really have an order. Uh, I know in the fall I did something like this with buttons. And um, the only thing with buttons is you have to have a good base. Or, um, or nothing sticks. Okay, so here's our belly band. So we're going to decorate it before we put it. We put it in the book because once it's in the book, it's, it's not going to be easy to decorate. So I got out a couple, a couple of things that, um, and I don't even know how these are going to work. So I've got out others. Okay, no, the yellow's not going to work. That's, no, that's too big. That's uh, possibly, let's see about the blue. Oop, I think the blue's upside down. Maybe. I'm not sure if the blue's upside down or not. Okay, here's some pink. That pink looks pretty. Yeah, see that? That, I think it looks okay. See what we got in here. I think I want to put something like right across the stems, and I've got a little. Oh, here's a little butterfly right, right there, and he's yellow. So let's let's ink this little butterfly here. I don't want to ink him all the way, but I just want to ink him up a little bit. I want the little butterfly up there. Okay, get up here. I want the butterfly up there. And I was thinking I wanted a little label across there. Oh, come on, you silly things. Open back up. And I thought that was a label, but that's not a label. And that's not pink, I see. Let's see. Now, this one says special delivery, so that one might look okay. Let's see what how the red looks. I'm not sure about the red though. Oh, he's stuck. Hold on, let me get him out. There we go. I'm not sure about the red. Mm, no, let's see if I've got it in a different color. Let's see if I've got a different color here. Okay, what about, what about that little ticket? Yeah, everything's red. Red and brown. Hmm. Red or brown, red or brown. Oh, here we go. This might work. Oh, now see, that gives me an idea. I have a little tiny punch we could punch through there. 
Ugh, I don't think I could get I don't think I could get twine through that little tiny hole though. I think that hole's too but I bet I could maybe with a needle. Let's try it with a needle. Alright, you guys, get back in here. Get out of my way. Come on. Let's try that little teeny tiny hole. I've got that little teeny tiny punch. Let's let's get it in that little needle. And I'm wondering if thread would work. All right, we've got this put away. Let me grab my little punch and a little needle. And let's see if we can do that. I'll be right back. Okay. So I've got my little tiny punch, and I've got my needles, the ones we use um, whenever we, whenever I sew in signatures. So let's see how this works. Let's see if I can get this through the hole here. All right, well that worked. That's a start. Now, let me see if I have a needle small enough. That won't go, that won't tear that hole. Let's see what we got here. That one's, that one's too big. Mm, that one might work. That one's pretty small. I want you to get back in there. Yeah. That one's smaller than that one. Okay. And this is just a piece of my black uh, linen thread. Wax linen thread like I use when I um, sew in signatures. So let's see here. Oh yeah, that went through good. Okay, good. So I just want to tie it just like you would a little tag, you know like right there. So I don't want a big, I don't want anything real big because I don't want it hanging too far. But I want it right. Nope, nope, you're too far up. You need to come down. You need to come down there a little bit, big guy. See, wax linen thread, you can manipulate really well. And if not, if it doesn't go where you want it, it's pretty easy to open and scooch around. So, let's put our needle in here and manipulate it down where we want it. So I don't want it against the bottom, I want it right there. Just like that, so it looks like a little hang tag. And then cut it right about there. Perfect. There. Now we've got like a little hang tag. So I want to put it right there. Right below those flowers. All right. So let's, let's put it, I'm going to put my finger there. Put a little bit of art glitter glue here behind it. Oh, come on. You got to come out. So it can attach to those flowers so it doesn't wiggle and squiggle. And then I'm, I don't want to glue this down. I want this to stay up. Okay. All right. Oh, so that's got a little punch out right there. Okay. Now let's glue the flowers down without gluing down. There we go. Okay, now let's put this where we want it. Oh, let's get our tag up here. I want the flowers in the middle, just like that. Okay, and this is gonna need a little bit of glue down here to kind of hold it in place. There, 
Now, I didn't glue the whole thing down. I just glued it at the bottom. This is still free. See, I didn't glue this down here. This is still, this is still free to wiggle around. So let's get these out of our way. And let me put this needle back in the tube here so I don't end up with it on the floor. Okay, now let's put it in our book. Now I think, as I was looking through here, I think I want it here in signature number one. So let's see. Okay, so right there to right there. Now, it looks like we're going to have to trim it off here at the bottom. I don't mind it sticking out at the top a little bit, but at the bottom it's going to have to be trimmed. So let's grab a pencil. And let's get it straightened up here. I don't mind it sticking out at the top. But the bottom, yeah, it's going to have to get trimmed. Right across there. And it might be better to mark it here across the back. I'll just go like that. Because if I when I go to sit the book down, it's going to get all scrunched up. There we go. Then we'll, we'll just do that. Okay. Yeah, I don't mind this sticking out at the top. I don't mind that at all. All right, so there's our belly band. Let's get our pencil over here out of the way. Now, let's get our belly band glued down. All right, so here's one of them. Make sure we have plenty of glue on it. Okay. Let's see. Do we want it there? Or, let's see, there was a different page I was thinking. Here, right here on the back of this page. Because I can't do anything else on this page. Like, I can't, I can't paint on it. I can't put a flip on it because this... This calendar is attached, so I'm going to put it here. Right. Right there. Let me wipe off any extra glue here so I'm not sticking. Okay. Alright, let's put a let me put a paper clip here on the end, right here. Okay, it's gonna have to go over that. There we go. And down here at the bottom, we'll put these two little clips. Since it's so thick, we'll put these little clips down here at the bottom to help hold it in place. There, there's our little belly band that we created. We can put lots of fun stuff under there, like this. These are just some little journaling cards we created off of offcuts and pictures out of books. So they can go under there like that. You see, that one's a little small. Let's put this picture from a book under there. It's nice and bright. It's got some purples in it. There's a butterfly in that one. Here we go. Okay. There. Oh, I like that. All right, let's get the cap on the glue here so we're not fighting with her. All right, let's get these let's get these uh, squares off of there. All right, now for the second one that I wanted to do, what I did was I just cut uh, just a normal, it's just a normal belly band. I just cut a strip of paper the length of the page. And again, I'm going to round, I'm going to round my corners. Just like this. And to me, this kind of reminds me of, of my garden. You know, all the little dots and this and that. And then I'm going to ink it up. You know, reminds me of the dirt. I'm just going to ink it up. Just a little bit. I don't want to see that white edge. So I'm just going to ink it up a little bit. Now, if you don't like belly bands, like, they're not my favorites. 
and I usually don't make a lot of them. Uh, my journals don't usually have a lot of belly bands. Uh, you'll find more side tucks in my journals than you will belly bands. Um, you'll find a lot more side tucks than you will belly bands. So for this one, I was thinking of putting it. Let me go back here to number three. There we go. On the back side. Now this is number. This is signature number three. And again, we have we have a calendar back here, you know. But it's got all the, um, you know, this one's got all the. Um, I didn't trim these. There. This one's got the trowel and all the the dirt and stuff. So I thought this one would be fun back here, probably on this side of the page. And if I put it here, like that, it kind of goes with that page that's the, over there on the other side. So I thought on this one, okay, stay put. We would we would give it some texture. So I have, okay, let me find it here on my table. Oh dear, I think I've lost it. <laughs> let me find it. Um, I cut it. Before we turned on the camera, let me find it. Oh, goodness. I cut a piece of, well, we just might have to cut another piece, huh? Hmm. Well, I cut it, but now I don't see it. Okay, well, we're just going to cut another piece. Okay. All right, we're going to cut a piece of of this. Now, let's see. That's tea dyed. That's too light. We're going to cut a piece of it, of this one. Except I want to I want one of the darker edges. And if I have to, uh what we'll do is we'll take we'll take the ink and we'll go right over top of it and we'll make it darker. Ooh, I think I need to clean my scissors again. Okay. Oh, I found it. It's right there in front of me. I don't think I can reach it, though. Let me reach. Let me grab it real quick. Hold on. It's in front of me. Okay. I found it. I put it up on the counter in front of me. Okay. So, for this one, I wanted to use a little bit of... Here it is of this. Give this a little bit of texture and you never know. I could change my mind and make it a side tuck. You, you guys just never know. You know, but I do think I want this to be darker. So I think we're going to use some gathered twigs and I'm just going to fold it up. And I'm going to take it over the top of it, like this. Okay, let's get that cut piece off. Oh, I picked up another piece from where we just trimmed. And it's okay if it stretches it out, if it, you know, if it gives it ratty edges. I don't care, because we're going to do that anyhow. I just want it a little bit darker. I don't want it to disappear on here, is, is my goal. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah, see how much darker it is now than what it was? And what I did was I cut out some pictures from my favorite flower book. You guys know the one I'm talking about. And... A couple of them here, isn't that gorgeous? Um, a couple of them here. Now, I know these aren't going to work, but like this tall one right here is the one that I wanted to use. And I want to use this picture. Oh, I don't know. That's pretty too. Now I like the yellow. Um, we're going to put this in the middle. Like this. 
just like that. And this might work better than I thought it was going to. I might not need that other stuff. Okay, and we're just going to wrap this cardstock with this. Now, you could use any type of cardstock you wanted for this. It doesn't have to be decorative. As a matter of fact, I, I may just cut another piece to show you. It doesn't have to be dec. Get off of there. It doesn't have to be decorative. It it can be anything. See, it can even be. Come here, you. It can even be this. Now, for mine, my side tucks and my belly bands, um, I always cut mine at two inches. Um, that's that's just the size that I like. Um, I like mine at two inches wide. I think that's for me. That's that's the perfect width. Um, it fits on my page, and it's it just works. So I'm going to show you instead of using this polka dot, I'm going to show you using just plain. You don't have to use. You don't have to use your best cardstock. Whoop, cut the bottom right off of there, didn't I? Oh, well. You don't have to use your best cardstock. You can just use plain, ordinary cardstock to use this, okay? And I'm not even going to round the corners. I'm not even going to round the corners yet, but I will. All right, so I'm going to scoot this down. Now, I've already folded this. See right here? I've already folded this. Now I'm going to scoot this down and I'm going to give myself a little lip here and a little lip here. I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to use this to go across the top. Whoops, bent it right out. I just want this to be nice and crisp. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do the same thing. What I want to do is I want to cover this. Let me move this out from underneath me. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to get that in your way. There. Okay, so fold that up. Like that. And then we're going to glue it down. Now, if you don't want to use your art glitter glue for this, you don't have to. You can use a glue stick of any kind. You can use any kind of glue you want. Okay, I'm only going to put it right here in the middle. And then I'm going to take my fingers before I glue it down. And at the junction to where my two folds are, I'm going to tear that corner off. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing. And the reason I'm not using scissors is because that fold is so small. There is no way I could get my scissors in there. Absolutely no way. Okay. I'm going to fold that little tiny piece up. And if I have to, I'll come back in. Okay. And I'm going to come up here in the same. And let me show you what I'm talking about. See where this piece meets this piece? I'm coming in here and I'm just folding it down. And I'm tearing it across. I'm folding it down. And I'm tearing it across. So it looks just like that. Just like any other any other fold that we do. Okay. A little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. A little bit of glue there. Fold this piece up. Fold this piece over. Fold this piece over. Just like that. Now, any little pieces that you need to come in, uh, you need to check for. Make sure right here, that's down.
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Make sure down here, nothing is sticking out um, because you don't want anything getting caught as you're trying to put it in. And same down here. You don't want this hanging up like that because as you're putting things in, it's going to get caught on it and it's going to end up tearing it. Okay. Now you've got the picture of the book with the name. Now it doesn't have to be from your flower book. It can be from anything. It can be book page. It can be from a coloring book. It can be from, sorry, I can't put that in and talk at the same time. I can't concentrate. Um, it can be from a book page. It can be from any kind of book page. It can be words. It can be from a coloring book. It can be from a dictionary. It can be anything you want it to be. It can be cardstock. It can be whatever makes you happy. That's what it can be. Okay. Now I want to, I want to decorate this a little bit more. Now, because it's already pretty much decorated, I don't want to put a whole lot on it, but I do like putting butterflies on things. You all should know that. Yeah, you all should know I'm a butterfly fiend. So I am going to find, here they are, my little butterflies. And right here are my little butterflies. Now, where are my little butterfly stickers? Is that a sticker? No. I had a, there it is. Come here, you. Come here. And that one. I thought I had some other little butterflies out, but I guess I picked them all up. So we're going to go with this guy. No, I don't want to ink him. Yeah, I love butterflies. There we go. Oh, there's my pen I was looking for you guys. <laughs> Told you we'd find it. Okay, so that one's ready to go in. So let's put that one in. Okay, we're going to put that one right here, just like that. Ooh, I really like that on the page. I think that looks really pretty. It's amazing how quickly I changed my mind, didn't it? I was, I was thinking we were going to have to use that. And for the life of me, I can't remember what that stuff's called. I'll think of it after we turn off the camera. All right, make sure you've got plenty of glue at the bottom because you can always wipe off any excess, but you don't want it to, there we go, right there. Okay, let me get my paper towel here. Make sure I don't have any sticking out the sides, blooping out the top. And I'm gonna put a paper clip here at the top. Oh, I do. Let me see, where is it? And put some over here to help hold it down. And put some down here to help hold it in place. There we go. And then when it dries, I can take those paper clips off. But I'm gonna leave them stick out a little bit so I see them. There we go okay so there we go we've made two belly bands in fun styles yuck I'm sorry I've got goop all over my glue bottle now there we go we've got two belly bands in fun styles we've got this one and then back here all right, let's go. Where did we put it? In number two? Yeah. And then we've got this one made with squares. Um, we're just going to call it the garden squares. I really like that one. That one turned out really cute. Yeah, we'll take those clips off when that one dries. 
I wonder if we can get a clip on this side. Let's see if we can get a clip over here. Maybe. I think there's, I think it's touching it enough to hold it down. There we go. So now we've got clips where we need them. And uh, let's go on and cut these strings off here. I don't know why in the world I didn't already do that. Oh, yes, I do. I was thinking of putting. I was thinking of putting charms on it, but then I changed my mind. I'm going to add charms when we do the do the outside. Okay. So I want to thank you guys for joining me today for all the fun that we've had creating belly bands and exploring some techniques with with squares and uh, I just love it when you guys come to visit. It just it just makes me have so much more fun. So, if you guys had some fun today, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and um Come back again and play because it's always more fun when you have friends playing in the craft room. And um, don't forget to share. Um, it's always fun when you share with your friends. They might want to play too. So until I see you again in our next video, ta-ta for now.